using LUTs in Luminar Neo offer a powerful and fast way to edit your images. But what to do when you have too many of them and you're starting to be a little bit lost on which one to use? Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can organize your LUTs in a mood tool in Luminar Neo and how you can get the most out of them. Okay, so starting from the beginning, let's talk about what the LUTs are. Well, LUTs, or also known as lookup tables, are like photo filters, but way more advanced. They instantly change the colors, contrast, and tones of an image, helping you achieve a specific look, or in fact mood, with just one click. You can actually think of them as recipe, because they will tell your editing software how to transform the colors in your photo, making them, for example, warmer, cooler, more vibrant, or more cinematic. Now, in photography, we often use LUTs to keep our edits consistent, and especially when we're working on a series of photos. Or actually, often we use them to quickly explore creative styles without adjusting every single setting manually. Now, in Luminar Neo, the LUTs are applied in the Edit module, in a Creative section, in the Mood tool. Once you open the Mood tool, applying LUT is really simple. Click on the grey drop-down box, then select the LUT collection, and once you're in, just hover over the different LUTs, and once you're happy, select one of them. Once you click on it and select it, you can still adjust the amount of the effect. On the top of it, you can also adjust the contrast and saturation. Even further, if you want to be more creative, you can also use the masking to apply different LUTs to different parts of your image. Now, coming back to our great drop-down box. Here, you notice that there are several collections that come with the application and also folder called Custom LUTs. Now, here, there will be the LUTs you will add using the Add Custom LUT file. You can see that I already have some LUTs there, so when you hover over them, you can see the different effect, and we can add more. So to do that, simply click on Add Custom LUT file, it will open a new window, and from here you can navigate towards the location of your LUTs. Me, for this example, I'm using the LUTs from our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. The Power Bundle comes with 100 LUTs, and it includes LUTs for nature, indoor, epic, so on and so on. Now, altogether, it's 100 LUTs, so you can very easily select them all. So simply select them all and click on Add. It only takes a few seconds and all the LUTs will be added. Now to apply them, again, back to the grey drop-down box, back to the custom LUTs, and here you can see the LUTs sorted. However, as you can see, once you start to add more and more LUTs, it will start to be difficult to navigate between them. So this is where we're going to come to the point why we're here today, where I'm going to show you how you can create your own folders similar to the cinematic toning, creative and cross processing. Now, at this moment, it isn't possible to do this directly in the application. So you have to do it outside. And really, the process is very simple. We're just going to copy the folders with the LUTs into the specific location. However, here comes an important notice or warning that sometimes when there is a big update of Luminar Neo, this specific folder will maybe change or delete it. I will suggest you and remind you to definitely back up your LUTs to make sure that you can always add them again into this folder. Okay, so moving on, the first thing we need to do is the LUT folder. This is where we're gonna copy our LUTs. Now the path, Towards these folders, differentiate between Mac and Windows systems, and I will share the correct paths into the description of this video. So on Windows, look for the LUT files folder, and on Mac, it's the default LUTs. Now for the time being, I will copy the Mac folder or the path towards it, and let's open the Finder. We're gonna use Shift, Command and G, and here we're simply gonna enter the path. Once happy, all we're gonna do is hit enter. On Windows, simply search for the folder and open it. 
Once here, we're going to now go to the location where we have our LUTs. So I will just open another tab or it can be just another window. And from here, we're going to navigate towards our LUTs. For me, I'm going to use the LUTs from the Luminar Neo Power Bundle. But of course that you can use any LUTs as long as they are in the folder. So just like here, nature LUTs with the LUTs in it. Now what we're going to do, let's just select one, two, three, and maybe four folders, command and control to copy them, then into the default LUTs folder and command or control V to paste them. Once here, we are pretty much ready. However, just a quick reminder, since we already here, you should know that the LUT collections will be organized alphabetically. So you will have the one, two, three, and four first, and then it will follow the C and P at the end. So if you want to select or organize them differently, you can, for example, remove the number. So let's go back and select five, six, seven, and eight. Again, Command or Control C, back to the folder, Command or Control V. And what we're going to do very quickly, we're just going to remove the numbers. So I just use Enter to select and rename, and then I just delete the number. So very quickly, remove this. Once happy, what we need to do is to close Luminar Neo and reopen it. Once you reopen the software, again, navigate into the Edit module creative section and the mood tool. In the mood tool, again, have a great drop-down box. And just like that, you can see our collections are here. And you can also see I didn't lie about the numbers and names. So they will be organized alphabetically. However, remember that you may have a multiple collections with the 01 in front of them, especially if you bought other LUT collections from us. So I think that it's actually easier to remove the number and just get them sorted alphabetically, just like here. So we have the different LUT collections available. Now, after that, it's really simple. Just select the collection, hover over. Now, for example, the elegant, apply it. So let's go for something like this. Adjust the amount, adjust the contrast, maybe the saturation and continue with the edit. So this is how you organize your LUTs in the mood tool in Luminar Neo. And on top of it, if you would like to continue learning and get the most out of this tool, then definitely check out our mood tool video. And that's not it. We actually have a video for every single tool in this application. So if you want to keep pushing your editing skills further, definitely check out our channel at Clever Photographer.